briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. The legal drama of Birch v. Hydroquip, Inc. in Remushroom Transportation Company unfurled in the United States Bankruptcy Court for the Eastern District of Pennsylvania in 1998. The focal point was a contentious point of law. If a person receives stolen funds in good faith, without any inkling that they are stolen, are they legally required to return them? The case was born from an audacious theft by Jonathan Gans, former counsel to Mushroom Transportation. He covertly siphoned funds from the company's coffers to the tune of $569,940.07. Realizing the loss, Mushroom's bankruptcy trustee, Jeffrey L. Birch, swung into action and filed a lawsuit against Fidelity Bank, an AL discount company. He accused them of being the unwitting recipients of the stolen capital, with the defendants mounting a sturdy defense, asserting their innocence and arguing that the statute of limitations had expired. The court's task was not easy. The case hinged on the application of tracing presumptions, a legal tool to track stolen funds, coupled with the complex matrix of the lowest intermediate balance rule. Delivering its verdict, the court ruled in favor of the defendants. The plaintiff, it maintained, had fallen short of providing irrefutable evidence that the defendants knowingly accepted stolen money from Mushroom's estate. Deemed good faith transferees, the defendants were concluded to be innocent recipients, shielded by the legal buffer of Section 550, which effectively exempts such transferees from liability. In the end, Birch's pursuit of justice came to an unfortunate halt. Despite his best efforts, he was unable to successfully trace the purloined funds to their supposed resting place. The defendants walked free leaving no relief for the plaintiff. A compelling tale of theft, legal tactics, and loopholes. Birch v. Hydroquip leaves behind intriguing interpretations about the concept of good faith in financial transactions. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.